So it's just the two cylinders? Mm. Yep. And they would have travelled at uh, 55 revolutions per minute. But she only ran on 21 pounds per square inch. Very, very low pressure. And it would have pushed the ship along with sail and steam, top speed, at 17 and a half knots. the berries. Animal fats and it will put in these boxes here and when the berries got hot it melted and went down round the berries. The steam come from the boiler rooms and it goes down in your cylinders one there and number two and what that will do, that will open the bowls at the back, pushing your piston forward. Once it's gone full forward, it shuts the bowls off at the back, opens it at the front, pushes it back through again. Now the steam that's not being used, you don't use all the steam, but the steam that's not being used will come from this pipe here, and the one over the other side there, there, down in the condenser which we are stood on and it gets sprayed with seawater and it gets pumped back through to the boiler room again. The Navy Colt revolver and it was a, an early version of that that revolver. The later cowboy gun of course had a composite bullet but these ones you had to load each chamber separately and so you'll notice underneath there's a like a little ramrod so each chamber you had to load a cartridge and bullet. to the, the French building, a ship called the Gloire, which was an armoured wooden ship, basically. But this ship was built to, to combat that. This is the captain's cabin. He would have probably provided all the furniture for it from his own home. And although you're in harbour, of course, you'll notice a lot of it is, is movable and it, when uh, the ship went to sea, he would have had a lot of this stowed down below, out of the way.
One man from each mess of 18 men would come down on a daily basis and collect the provisions for the mess you know, from here. Obviously, the bulk stocks are kept down below, but he would come and collect his rations for his mess from here. He would prepare them before the meal time and take them to the galley, and the galley would cook them up. That's the rum tub. The spirit room was down below here, and the barrels of rum would be stowed down there. Around lunchtime each day, they would go down and bring up the rum issue for the day. And they'd use this, which is a rum pump. And you'd pump up the rum, pump the barrel, and they'd measure it into these measures. These are neat spirit measures. And when you got it to the lip, that was, a, for example, that's a gallon, I think, half a gallon, and so on. When they'd measured the rum, they'd put it into here, which is called the breaker. And the reason they put it into this, that you notice it's got a handle on each end. You could pass it up through the hatches. You've got your spirit issue for the day in there. You brought it up to the issue point. The senior ratings, the warrant officers, and the officers would get neat spirit, an eighth of a pint, and the rest of the rum would go into here and be mixed with water on a ratio of two to one. That's two of water to one of rum, and that made grog. The grog is what was issued to the sailors using the measures that I showed you earlier on. 